Hi there, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at Tech Travel Geeks, and today we're going to unbox the Doogee S95 series. Now, for those of you who subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks, you'll be saying, why are you doing it again? Well, there's a difference. The last time we unboxed the Duji S95 series, that was at Duji's HQ in Shenzhen, China. This time we're doing a dedicated video just for the S95 series, as this is the review device that Lukash will be reviewing in the coming weeks and months. But for now, I'm going to be doing the unboxing and preparing the device for when he gets back from his current travels. Right, as you can see, this is the packaging of the S95 series, which has the 3,500 milliamp hour battery and the hi-fi speaker as a package. So it's the phone and two modules on with it. Now, following on from feedback we've had from users, I am going to use a pair of scissors to open up the packaging. This is the cellophane packaging which is reflecting my Edinburgh Rugby flag which is hanging above my desk. There we go. So as you can see it's a black box with embossed Doogee logo and S95 series detailing and in the bottom right you can see that there's the S95 Pro model and the fact that this is an 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes storage device. On the side of the box you have the Doogee logo and that's about it. There's a detail about the fact that this is the Doogee S95 Pro Super Smartphone. The difference when you see this on Amazon will be that the Pro Super Edition is the one that comes with the modules. The standard S95 Pro package is just the smartphone. But let's start off opening up the packaging and seeing what's in. So the first box opens and it's a bit like a Russian doll. There is another box on the inside that says S95 series. Now that doesn't just match up to the one on the outside because this one just says S95 series world modular phone pioneer and we'll open up that next but whoops first things first let's see what's in the box so there's a couple of cards here one for the 3500 milliamp hour power module and one for the speaker module so there's two modules in this packaging underneath the main phone packaging one which is this additional Doogee speaker module with a stand that clips onto the back of the device. We'll put that down for now. And the other one, which is in this case, the Doogee power bank module. So this is a power bank module, which has a 3,500 milliamp hour power bank, and it charges independently via USB type C and then charges your smartphone when needed. It extends the battery life. So we'll keep these aside and focus on the main smartphone now. So this is the packaging to the Doogee S95. As with the outer packaging, there is some cellophane that's reflecting my Edinburgh Rugby flag on it. And I'm going to take that packaging off and on the inside it feels pretty much the same so there is a matte finished box with some embossed logos and details on it and clarification that this is the s95 pro with 8 gigabytes of ram and 120 gig 8 gigabytes of storage right so opening up the packaging very simple, very straightforward. It shows what you're getting in the box. So you get a fast charger or a quick charger. Well wedged in. So a Doogee logo on the other. Details of the fact that this is a fast charger, which outputs 5 volt at 3000 milliamp hour 
or 7 volt at 3,000 at uh, 3 amp. So 9 at 2.7. So this is a, a 12 volt at 2,000. So this is a 24 watt charger. Now this is not a Qualcomm fast charge. This is Doogee and MediaTek's solution, which should perform very fast. And in the box, there's a USB type A cable to USB type C. So as you can see, the charger is USB type A. I'm going to put that aside and let's go for the main device in the box. And before we go on to the device itself, let's have a look at what's in the other things in the box. So inside you have warranty card, user manual, and there's a couple of wipes and an extra screen protector. That's very, very handy. So this is not a glass screen protector. It's a plastic one, but that's probably a good thing. And there is also a SIM ejector tool, as we saw in the Doogee S68 Pro and the S95 Pro. This is a special one, which has a pretty long bit for getting this, the SIM card out. And it also has a very small clip on the side because it's so far, the, the SIM ejector uh, SIM, SIM tray is so well recessed that you need to hook on to the tray to pull it out of the casing. But we'll carry on with that later. So that's the main, all the contents of the box. Let's focus on the smartphone itself, the Doogee S95 Pro. Let's take the sticker with the IMEI numbers off. So this is the Doogee S95 Pro. As you can see, it's a rugged smartphone. It has rugged finish, soft touch with interspersed with some harder ends. It has the pogo pins for the modules. So how do they look when clipped on? Very simple. And you can see this is, has actually started charging the device. I could switch that off. It has a handy button on the bottom of it but you can use this extra power bank that just clips onto the device very, very simply. And so that's the power bank, and this is what the speakers look like clipped on. So that's it. You can see what these pogo pins are for. They're for the modules and for clipping them to the device. Right, let's switch the device on and see what it looks like. And whilst that's starting up, we're going to take the screen protector protector off. So one screen protector comes pre-installed on the device. Sadly, this one has a bubble under it, but that's not much of a problem. Uh, and there is an extra one, as we saw, in the packaging. So you're well covered for the beginning. Let's have a look at what languages are available. available. So English, in this case, United Kingdom not a problem. So connect to a mobile ne network, let's skip that. I'm going to go ahead and set this up uh, on Wi-Fi and I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, so I've just finished setting up the Doogee S95 Pro and it was a very smooth and fast experience. It's almost a Google-like experience as one you'd have on say an Android One or a Pixel device. It's very close to stock, apart from the main launcher not having an app drawer. But that's not a big issue. The good news is that it is very fast and responsive. It is quite a responsive thing, and the screen is nice and clear. This is a Full HD Plus display, which is LCD. And this, with the screen protector on, uh, is really, really quite fast. I set up the fingerprint uh, scanner, so there's a fingerprint scanner on the sign side it is ergonomically made for use with a thumb uh, usually your right thumb and it's it's fast i've used it multiple times i've checked it in different angles and different conditions and it is very responsive uh, another thing to note about this is this device is that it has a small water drop notch at the top and rounded corners around the screen on the back, uh, it does feel a bit chunky and metally, 
That is because it is a, a very tough device. This is an IP68 rated device, which can take quite a beating. Now on the back, you'll see that there's uh, cameras. Uh, this is a set of device cameras which have Sony sensors. And specifically, there's a 48 megapixel main sensor. And then there's an eight, uh, a couple of 8 megapixel sensors and LED flash. So this is quite a capable camera. We've already tested it out, but we'll be putting through its, it through its paces properly in the coming weeks. And the interesting other thing is that as well as the power and the volume button, you have a tray for the SIM card on one side of the device. So you have SIM 1 card, so SIM 1 tray on one side. And then you have SIM 2 or TransFlash, or that's micro SD, on the other. So there are two separate trays for your devices. And then there's a customizable button on the sides as well. So... Overall, it's quite pleasant to use. It is a bit chunky and a bit heavy. The heaviness probably comes from that 5,000 milliamp hour battery that is built into it. And it doesn't take that much more when you put the 3,000 milliamp hour module in the back. This gives you a total of around about 8,000 milliamp hour in terms of battery power. And as you can see, it fill, it's clicks to the device and it just seems to work. There's a cutout for the camera and there's a cutout for the speakers. Uh, this actually gives it a bit of a boombox uh, effect, increases the bass effect from the speakers. But that's it. It's not perfect, but it works. And I'm sure that in terms of practicality, especially when traveling, uh, this is a very, very useful accessory. Pretty much as you'd expect of the speaker so if you don't want to have a separate USB or Bluetooth speaker, this is a really good option. You just click this speaker on. It has its own stand and you just play your music on the device. It's quite cool. Uh, a modular Bluetooth speaker. Now I did play some music on this earlier. I have set it up with my Google account, which has YouTube music. It works and it works well. I also had a look at a video, in this case, the All About Android Best of 2019, and it worked great. As I said, it is a very smooth and, and easy experience using this device, and overall very pleasant. The, as with the SIM trays, there's an extra cover before getting access to the SIM tray. There's a nice little cover for the USB Type-C port at the bottom of the device. Now, one of the big advantages of the S95 Pro is that it supports wireless charging. So you can pop this in a wireless charger and not have to take the seal off the bottom. It means that the next time you put it in, uh, say, a damp situation, or uh, in the shower, or you jump into a pool, uh, you're less likely to get water in here if you leave it closed all the time. There's less wear and tear on that, and that's wireless charging will be very, very uh, useful there. In terms of uh, screen, as I said, it's an L LCD screen with a notch cut out at the top and rounded corners. It is uh, very, very good in terms of screen resolution, as in I didn't, didn't notice any pixels. And the other good thing is that the moment I switched it on, there was an OTA update, update, update available. Let's see if that's still the case. Wireless update. Yes, that's currently downloading. It's a 60 megabyte update, which is dated as the 11th of December. So this product does seem to be re receiving after sales support in terms of OTA updates. And one last thing that I think we should clarify, uh, this does have NFC. I haven't set up Google Pay on it yet, but I will do in the coming days and give you some first impressions of how that works on the device. But for now, this is the Doogee S95 Pro in its super configuration with two separate modules. 
the 3000 milliamp hour power bank and the speaker module. Um, as you can see, uh, there is, in this case, a f an LED light that indicates that it is actually charging from the power bank. And overall, we hope you've enjoyed this un lengthy unboxing of the Duji S95 Pro and modules. If you enjoyed this video and you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube. Uh, and if you like this video, give us a like. If you'd like to ask any questions or would like to let us know what you think, drop us a comment just under here. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.